which church were you going? I said, see? Yes. Before. Let's bring oh. the lady again. Jesus' name. Which church were you going before? I was going to X, yeah, and then now I crest embassy X, and then it's a TWC I in Dupslot. God wants to bless you. Eh? Amen. Yeah. He will give you a job that will shock everybody in your family. You must not give up because right now everything went down, eh? and you are. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at you that they have attacked you a progressive, right? Eh? Yes. Now there is nothing now. Eh? So I, I command this thing to leave you. This thing they put on you, I destroy it. Amen. In Jesus' name. You are free. You will give us a testimony. Let's get on. If we tell you this will happen, believe. This will happen. Believe. God bless you. Let's bring people of testimonies. Uh, blessings and good morning. Um, my name is Rinzani Kanyani. I'm Rinzani Kanyani. Um, I fellowship uh, with TWCI in Deep Sloot, but Wednesdays um, I'm mostly here. Um, so I've been looking for this day. I've been coming and I've been missing because I'm very shy. But I said I need to give my testimony. I'm a very shy person. Yeah, and every time, every, every, yeah, and every time I come, I miss it. I miss it. So today I said I'm not going to work. I'm coming to testify. Uh, so I think. Um, Around 15th, I think I was dressed like this, 15th April, if I'm not forgotten, on Wednesday. I was seated on that side. And so normally I come for the wedding, and then I leave to go and pick up my son. So on my way back, I found that the apostle was praying for people. And then I joined the queue, and then he, he, he was, I was, he was about to pray for me, and then he asked me a question. He always asked me, "Where do you fellowship?" And then I told him, um, from home, I came here with Crest Embassy, and then ex Church, and then during COVID, I went to TWCI. And I think his question is because after I've realized that he's got a connection with um, my spiritual father, whom um, he he's living somewhere in heaven with God, so he said God is gonna bless you. And my spiritual father, whom I refer to, the man who changed my life, uh, the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Um, so he said, God is going to bless you. Me, every time when I come here, I'm praying, they must testify, professor, about my twin sister. Because I was doing the Esther fasting, and I said today they will talk. He will talk about my twin sister, you know. And then he came and spoke about my job. And I remember I had one on one. He just touched it a bit. He said, uh, "Prophet Andres will speak about it." And then he said, "I've been stuck uh, on my job, but uh, which." was true and God is going to give me a job which will even surprise my family um, there's been a lot and as I'm saying he will give hints and then um, I went for I've been moved I think by education I'm, I'm only left with two levels before I can say I'm, I finished the whole education 
Um, so they shifted me and there have been a lot of fightings and people at work they were saying why are you not fighting? I said, God will fight for me. They're like, no, if you can't fight for us, then nobody will fight for us. You know? So I kept on praying. They're like, you changed, you changed. Then they advertised a position for senior manager. They moved me somewhere to frustrate me. And I said, God, you're going to lift me from here. Because when men say they say casting down, they say lifting up. That's what I said when they moved me to that position. Um, just to cut things short, uh, they, after the prophet prophesied and prayed for me, they advertised the same position, and then I went for interviews. interview. Then I realized now <laughs> the devil is fighting for, uh, for that appointment to be released. You know? And then I just continued praying for uh, God to release that appointment because normally after interviews, it doesn't take a week for appointment, but mine took almost two weeks. You know? Then I was appointed. Then by local appointment. And then the devil came. Then Satan. Uh, I think last week uh, uh, the apostle was also preaching about money. I've learned the secret of giving also from my side. Last week he touched he base, he base on that. And then it's like, no, you're not going to give your first fruit. It was a lot of money, my first fruit. The increase was, was a lot. So it was a lot of money. Even when I told my siblings, they were angry. That. And then the day I got paid, I think around 12. I waited for 12 o'clock. <laughs> then from 12 to 1, I prayed. I was thanking God. And then I, I took that huge money. I said, this is my first fruit. And then I told my siblings, my siblings, I paid the first fruit. They were very, very angry. Like we could have gone for a holiday. That's how much it is. And then, but I just want to thank God and to just say uh, thank you to the God of this church and my God for what he has done in my life. I've been, I've been stuck for like seven years since 2015. And uh, after that prophecy and God made it happen that I got appointed and the increase, the appointment was yeah, it's it's very good. Kamara what happened oh ka kumana appointment ka kumana increase and increase ya wana ki bodzi. So I just wanna say uh, all the glory to God and just to testify because we are told to testify of his goodness. Good morning.